Hi everyone. So today I have an amazing workflow and you can see that at first this can look complicated but trust me it is not. The way it looks like it looks a little bit confusing because I have mashed up two different workflows and both of them are actually in my previous videos. One of them is uh, my in-depth like depth workflow for Flux and which was loved by a lot of you people. And the most recent one was actually about this model called as Flux Sigma Vision. I am using the Quantized Q4 version. This produces the most insane and realistic looking skin as I can show you here you can see. And this is insane like it has all the upscalers and everything and this is actually the mixture of both. So what happens is that you can prompt something, you can use your own images you can use your own background and then create a depth map which will in return create an image and it will get upscaled and all the problems tiny problems will be fixed so let's get started i have two examples so don't worry about it i'll go through it one by one so here you can see that this particular node this is actually very important this particular node here we can set the megapixels right now after this what we are seeing here is it's basically the subject so you can upload any subject that you like you can upload any background here there is something called flip subject switch and image switch so in image in the image switch what happens is that here you can see i have selected three so if i select let's say two or one one means original that the first image will be taken into consideration while creating the depth map. Transparent BG means we would keep the subject from the first image, remove all the background but we will not superimpose uh, it on another background. The third one is overlaid. So basically this will be the background, this will be the foreground. Here you can see when we are superimposing you can see the faint uh, windows behind her and the subject in main and obviously because it is taking the pose from the depth so the face and anything would not come you can use any of the images you would always generate new faces so now our image would have a background in behind and that kind of image right so that's the thing now here now remember one thing this is not going to be perfect when we are using very faint backgrounds it will give a guidance but it will not be uh, same because in the flux sigma vision this is not the model directly made to work with depth lora and i'm using the lora at 0.9 because i wanted to give a little bit of more creative freedom so that is the reason i'm using it now here it is a 22 year old model in pink dress in front of window that's it and here i have chosen this is one of my nodes and i have chosen the canon powershot g7 x mark 3 the color grading is film, film emulation and the lighting is window light okay now here you can see that this actually created a window but the window is a little bit like you know broken it seems like that but it's cool uh, that is not something that we are mainly focusing you can fine tune it to get a better background but we are mainly focusing on the lighting the co uh, composition and the foreground so you can see the image is generated according to the depth and remember this image looks a little bit more noisy there is more colored noise in it we are also using the detail daemon sampler to inject more like details but don't worry it is completely fine because in the second step when we'll come to the second step you can see we are improving this a lot so all those color noise or whatever there was the checkered effect everything is getting somewhat fixed and you can see this is almost the same now one thing is that here you can see the window is a little bit off like these are the lines here there is one window here it seems like there is some kind of uh, a broken window or something going on there but then again if we focus more on the foreground it is quite clear and it works very well just look at the skin details 
it has tiny little bumps and everything which makes it look more realistic even the dress one thing i would like you to notice is that just look at the hands as well so this is clearly very good now if you are not satisfied with that there is an upscale too and for all these upscales we are using the forex ultra sharp model but you can also use others as well if you find some uh, good ones so you'll have all the links in the description box below so don't worry about it now this one actually improves the previous version and makes it more high resolution so all those pores the unevenness the it actually fixes the lips as you can see and uh, this looks pretty pretty insane just look at these tiny bumps there is like small hairs there are like very minute shadows that would be casting due to the hair you can see this so uh, this looks pretty pretty good and everything is getting more high resolution so this is the workflow and again the things that you can play with is the detail demon sampler if you find there are more noises or you can try playing with the cfg for this i have reduced it to 2.5 from 3 but you can try with 3 2 2.5 all of these now let's come to the second one so again something very similar this is the pose and here i have used the original one so you can see that it is taking uh, the background from the original image only it is not taking it directly from this one right now with that being said the prompt is 22 year old model in a green dress gorgeous and beautiful that's it i have kept it very small uh, models uh, small prompt sorry yeah and here you can see that this is the first generation so the skin and everything has that realism this looks good now you can see there is a slight checkered effect here but don't worry about it because it is going to get fixed in the first generation we just want an overall composition that looks realistic we actually want these noises and everything and here you can see in the second one we are actually upgrading it a lot so just look at this eye just look at this eye just look at the lips and the skin as well so whatever there were those marks these are being like more natural now so all of these freckles and marks and everything now these are way more natural so you can see any kind of extreme like hairs on anything those are getting fixed like hairs on her arm and everything so this is the thing the unevenness on her elbow slight markings these are getting even and even yeah and with the second upscale we are making it ultra high resolution so this was already high resolution now look at this just look at the details you can look at the lips as well like the teeth and everything have become completely perfect so this is the power of upscaling it two times and you can see the bumps the markings the unevenness the texture of her skin it looks amazing even the dress i just want you to look at the dress you can see the seams and everything these look so so perfect so these are the things now here you can see the arms are getting way more natural so just look at the elbow you'll see the texture in our elbow is a little bit different from the other skin and this is what is going on here so yeah this is the whole workflow and you'll find all the uh, models and links in the description box below and if you have any kind of queries doubts or any suggestions put it in the comment box and i'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you